Hey there, welcome back. Got another review for you. This one could be considered older because this is a 2012 set. I feel like the older you get with Lego Star Wars, the better they are. The better the sets are. This is the Republic Striker Class Star Fighter. One of the coolest sets that they've done. This is from the Old Republic. If you don't know what that is, it's a video game. It's based a thousand years before everything that we know. And it's just so cool. You have to go online and look up these little... They have these mini movies that they came out with, like these cinematic trailers. They are fantastic. Much better than anything Disney's doing. I can tell you that. <laughs> anyway, this is a great set. This came out in 2012. And again, it's based on the game. I was able to pick this up. Thankfully, nobody bought it. I was worried someone was going to. They got the sealed copy. I work at uh, Bricks and Minifigs, and I get kind of like... I pretty much get dibs on any used set that I want, pretty much. And this one, I had to have it. I've been wanting it for years. I know I say that with a lot of the sets, but especially with the Rogue Shadow, which I, which I also love. I also picked that up recently, and fairly recently. And this one... This is the one as well that I needed to have because as a kid, I, I really loved the look of this and I still do. But um, yeah, it comes with three minifigs. We'll take a look at them first and we'll move the ship out of the way just a little bit. It's, it's a really epic ship. Um, yeah, here's the three of them. You get three exclusive characters. One of them is the Jedi Master, Satil Shan. She is amazing. If you don't know who this character is, I don't know the history of her yet. I'm learning about her. But she's a Grand Master during the um, Old Republic days. I'm just going to talk about the figure. She's got a sand green look, like a, a uniform. It's a really cool battle look. And she's got a brown ponytail and a great double-sided head. She has this smirk here. And I'll show you the other one in a minute. Her detailing is great. She has a double-bladed double lightsaber. Which is something we don't see from a Jedi. So that's cool. That's different. Fresh, right? Um, she has a great amount of detail. Look at look at this. It's so good. All this like gold and she's got the Padawan braids and all this like robe detailing and shiny metallic detailing. And she's got bare arms, gray gloves, and her detailing is on the back as well. I'll take her hair off so you can see that. Here's her second face, angry face, and the back of her printing is, is amazing. Definitely my favorite figure of the set. And she's the main character. And this is actually her ship. So she modified one of these to, to fly in. Just amazing. I've always loved this minifig. And I've always wanted her. And to have her is amazing. And she's in perfect condition. Whoever had this set before me treated it amazingly well. Because no, no cracks, no breaks, no scratches nothing which is so good that's what i like to see here's the second figure a republic trooper or in this case it's really jace malcolm that's his actual name but lego doesn't call him that because they didn't know at the time he's got a giant gun look at this it's massive gun you, you have to be a little bit careful because he won't stand up like you have to like position it properly he can hold it with two different handles there his printing is excellent with like a, a knife and it's got like this great design work for the the body really cool armor lots of red and white and black straps and continues on the back um unfortunately he only has one face which is kind of disappointing um he's got like this really cool scar on his eye and it's really epic he's almost like confused he's got a, a five o'clock shadow no second face but that's fine no helmet either which doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some people, but he in the trailers, he doesn't have a helmet, so it makes sense. And his hair is pretty good, too. He is a great minifig. I think he's 25 bucks, and then Satel is 35 So yeah, these are kind of pricey, but they're really, really cool. Um, here's the last one. This is a droid, and it's one that you build, actually, which is kind of cool. I mean, I know you build all the droids, but this one you especially build up because it's a lot of pieces. And this is T701, and he is the droid of Sean in this set. And he is made up basically of dark gray parts, and he's got three different printed pieces. One, two, three. And they're all unique to this figure. 
Um, and he is about, I believe he's like 10, 15 bucks. I, I could be wrong. I think that's the price. And he's got a little wheel on the back. And this one's, this one's amazing. I love the printing. It's so sharp. Uh, it looks so amazing. Just the design is so cool from, you know, it's so different from all the other Star Wars, like, figures and stuff. It's just so fresh. I don't know. It's so new to me. All these different, like, designs. It's not a re- The set is not a remake, which I love. It's like the old- It's like the, the Rogue Shadow as well. That set is also its own set. Like, they haven't made it again, which is really cool to me. I don't know. But yeah, those are all the figures. They are fantastic. Uh, let me move them aside just to have them have something to do over here. Um, we'll just move them aside. And here's the ship. This is a beautiful ship because mainly it's dark red, which I love that color. And it's a lot of red, in fact, is on here. There's lots of red. There's some orange accents and some white for the Old Republic colors or just the Republic um, design of it. And this is obviously a hero ship. And there there was a lot of these in the Old Republic. They're, they're just like essentially the X-Wings of the old era. So you'll see what I mean. But this is a gorgeous ship. Um, I, will, I will say though, because this is dark red, you need to be very careful with this set. Because dark red uh, Lego pieces crack very easily. I should know from experience. That's all I'm going to say. But whoever, again, whoever had this before me treated it, like, just perfectly well because there's nothing broken, no, like, cr scratches. Again, they just treated it very well, which is something that we don't see that much in used sets. So, yeah, this is great. Uh, I paid about 65 for this. I don't regret it. It was actually supposed to be 80 but I had a discount, so that helped. And I would have paid the 80 because this is such a cool ship. It, it's so different from like the X-Wings or the TIE Fighter. It's its own thing, which is very cool to me. It's got a great look to it. Now, this ship has several features that it has. I'll show you the first one. It's pretty simple. On the back, there is a orange like piece. And you can actually lift this up and... If you put Satel Sean in there, you can actually take her lightsaber, take it apart, and clip them onto there, uh, so you don't have it like floating around and being annoying. It's, it's lightsaber storage, which is very appreciated. That's very nice that they did that. And you can also just hide the clips away by just folding this down, and it hides them away. It's so clever the way they did that. And it does have an opening cockpit, which is printed with the X-Wing design. It's just the X-Wing, like, cockpit, which is fine, because that's... You'll know, you'll know why that's a good thing in a minute. This opens up, and you've got room for only one person, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, it's a Starfighter, so it's supposed to only fit one person, but still, it's a little bit disappointing. Anyway, I'm just going to stick our mascot friend, put him in there. And there's a couple of printed pieces, which are really nice. Actually, there's three printed pieces. There's one down in there. You can kind of see it. And then there's the control stick, which is funny because it's like a scooter stick, which is kind of hilarious that this cool ship is being piloted by a stick, uh, like a yoke. But yeah, there's there's a, what a minifig looks like in there. And it's pretty tight. You know, it, it's, it's only meant for one, but it looks really good. They, whoever you put in there will look nice in there. And there's a little green um, slope in there. So yeah, not much detail in there, but it's enough to be nice, I think. Closes pretty well. And I like all the different tiling. There's a lot of tiles. Like, on the top, there's like dark red, regular red, white, orange. And we've got a couple of moving flaps at the front. I mean, it's not really a feature, but I mean, it could be, I guess. I mean, you can move them. Um, but the main feature of this, the main awesome part of this ship is this isn't even the main like mode of it this is um cruise mode so this is like the landed mode or just the default form it looks like an a-wing like if you look at it from the top let me see if i can get you up here to look at it if you look at it like this this looks like an a which is pretty cool it's an a-wing pretty much it looks like an a-wing right uh, an a rebel a-wing ship but 
that's not all, that's not all. If you want to be even cooler with this thing, when it goes into battle mode, check this out. The wings clip and they fold out. Look at this. It's so cool. And you put these, you can rotate these cannons like this, and now it's in battle mode. Look how cool this is. It's so easy to to switch and back and forth, back and forth, back, back, back. It's so good because you've got this bar here and you've got these uh, clips uh, right here. And they're just, it's very simply built, but it's so well done. You can see the clips right here. They clip, this one clips here, and they got the clips back here as well to hold it into place for battle mode. And it looks super nice. Um, and it changes the look. Again, this is why it looks like an X-Wing. It, it's very similar. You can see the X-Wing look now. Um, and it's, it's way before that, but still, it looks very awesome. Um... And yeah, these cannons don't shoot, but there is something that does shoot. On the underside, you can see right here, there are flick missiles and with the green tips. And what's nice about those is uh, they have the Technic pins. And if you want to shoot them off, you can go like this. And they fire off. It's very effective. It, it actually works really well. I think because this set is so old that no one really sh shot them that much. And so... Um, they, they're very tightly packed in there, which helps. If you want to reload them up, just go like that, and you're good to go. You're ready to take on the enemy, the Sith Empire. Unfortunately, I do not have the other Old Republic sets. I would like to buy maybe one more of them at some point, but I just love the colors of this ship. That's the main reason why I got it, because I love the dark red and the red and the white. It's very different of a set for me. It's it's not a remake. I think this is the only, pretty much the only set that's not like another version of something. It's its own set. And as a kid, I really wanted this. Again, mainly because of the uh, the colors. But I just love the 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 design is so different from other ships that I have. Uh, that just makes it so cool. I don't know. Here's the engine design. It's very, very cool. It's very different. Again, there's got the pink um, engine thrust. and It's very fun build, too. It's kind of quick. Uh, around 376 parts, I think. But it's really satisfying, I think. Um, I think this set, if you have it, I think it'll look a lot better on a stand, which is why I got one. Um, but yeah, it just the look is so nice uh in my opinion and the minifigs uh, i again I, am, I have to confess i bought this mainly for the minifigs but i also got it because i really like the ship um and it, def it definitely stands out on my shelf because it's like dark red which is something different i don't know um one thing i guess my only real complaint is these printed pieces are amazing here there's no stickers in this set which is amazing but the it's a very tiny nitpick there's the printing you can see is supposed to match this side here um there's like a little white or i'm sorry black line that goes right here it's a little bit misaligned but i mean it's a tiny thing it doesn't really matter uh yeah i love this it's so cool um there are landing gear i'll show you the bottom it's not that exciting but it's there so that's what that looks like. And yeah, I love this set. I'm very glad I got it. I, I'm glad I was able to get it before someone else did because when the Old Republic sets come in to my work, they go really quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad I was able to get this one. Um, you'll see on, on the shelf for sure. I don't know if I'm going to do it with the attack mode or the cruise mode. I might do the cruise mode just because it's a little bit more compact. But... I just think it's a brilliant set. And I love all of the Old Republic sets. The Defender was freaking awesome. The Sith and the Fury class Interceptor is a a another awesome one. They're all awesome. Because they're so different to LEGO Star Wars sets today. Which, I don't know. I, I wish they would make more of these sets for sure. The minifigs are fire. Uh, I just, I love Satel Shan. She is so epic looking. Um, I, I just love her uniform and... Just the way they designed her is very, very nice. It, I don't know. They did a great job with these minifigs as well. 
And this set wasn't too bad, badly priced either when it came out. I think it was like 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this one. What do you think of the Republic Striker class Starfighter? Do you think it's a good ship? Do you think it sucks? What do you think about it, good and bad? What do you think of the old Republic? Do you think it should come back? Do you think it should stay dead? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned for another video on this. When I talk about the build, because uh, we'll talk about that. And um, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Let me know what I can improve on. Take care and have a great day.